Good morning, this is Dr. Rob Cananello with uh, Dr. Rob's Rabble. So a colleague of mine recently asked me, hey, why do you do those videos? Um, you know, well, how does it help you? And it's really not to get new patients and um, it's uh, not just to say I'm right and this is what I feel. It's more that, um, you know, maybe I, what my experiences of what I have did wrong or what I've heard or what I've learned over the last 30 years maybe will help others. You know, I've always believed in the, uh, in the word hope, H-O-P-E, hearing other people's experiences. And, and we learn from each other and hopefully that's how, how we, we gain knowledge and get better in our profession. So um, here's my, my one for this week. Um, this past weekend, um, I worked, uh, luckily I got the opportunity to work once again at the uh, New Jersey Special Olympics Summer Games. I've been going to that for, for the last close to 20 years. Um, and have met some great athletes over the years and great experiences and um, been lucky enough to have um, students who have now become, have done great things in their, in their own world still come back and help. So uh, I thank all of them for that. But um, you always get like one little pearl, one little experience that uh, I think in this case, I'd like to share this one. I actually had a, uh, a 16 year old athlete. Uh, she was a runner and she came in and Around her neck, she was adorned with about three different gold medals, and um, she had her parents came with her, and uh, we were screening the athletes. And um, the mother said to me, you know, she does have, uh, her arches are kind of low, um, a little concerned about that. And she said, when does she need orthotics? And um, I asked, does she have any pain? No. Um, does she, does it slow her down? No. Does, um, does she not want to do certain events because of that? No. And here she is, obviously a well-accomplished uh, athlete with uh, reached the high, heights of her, her, her career, and um, she's doing well. And I said, don't, don't mess with success, right? She's doing pretty well, um, you know, and, and, and maybe, maybe, you know, other people who might see this video will say, oh, you're wrong. And I get that a lot when I do these videos. They'll say, no, 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 you definitely need to do X, Y, or Z. And maybe in, in their hands, that's the right thing to do. But in my hands, I find that, you know, maybe we could educate our athletes a little bit better by saying, hey, um, orthotics are out there if we need them. Um, but so is shoe gear and, and, show, and more importantly is mobility and strength. And um, teaching the athlete how to get better that way is really, really an important piece I think sometimes we overlook. It's easy to just say, yeah, here's an orthotic and it'll, it'll cure everything. Um, I wish that there was more um, uh, scientific education about if prophylactically or preventive orthotics would help these athletes down the line. Um, you know, I guess it's we, it's wait and see. So I think I think the reality and, and the thing that I've learned is is that um, it's one piece. Um, I think that you know we have to tell these athletes that you know we they need to continue to do the right thing they need to continue to stay strong um, and if they have an issue then they have to see their um, their doc at, at an appropriate time but uh, in any event you know it was really great it was exciting to see these athletes they're the purest of the athletes out there um, they do it just because they, they enjoy it they have fun um, you know, when I give to them, I, I get energized. Uh, I get much more back from them. And I realize that these athletes do not have special needs, but they have special abilities and um, they teach me a lot. So I'm still learning, 30 years in, still learning. And, uh, and humbly have to say that uh, I, I appreciate everything that I learn each day. And um, I accept uh, the compliments and also the negative comments that I get sometimes. It's okay, that's how I'll learn to get better. So uh, I thank you guys, and um, that's this edition of Dr. Rob's Rabble. Take care.